Hello friends, welcome back to another tutorial. This week we are talking about Canva and how you can post right to your social media channels using Canva. I know I have this giant microphone in front of my face this week. Hey friends. What if I just film like this the whole time? I could just be a little eyeballs in the corner. It's kind of creepy. Anyway, this week we're talking about Canva. Now most of you probably know what Canva is, and if you don't, Canva is a drag and drop design tool. They make it super, super simple to make really easy, really good looking graphics, um, for the most part for free. But if you are a paid customer, if you upgrade to the pro plan, I'm gonna show you what I think the best feature of the pro plan is, and that is posting right to your social media channels. The reason that I think this is so great, by the way, is a couple reasons. One, it's incredibly fast. Two, you can do it from the same hub. Three, you no longer have to pay really expensive fees for um, scheduling tools like Buffer or Hootsuite. All those can run um, pretty expensive nowadays, and Canva takes care of all of that scheduling content for you. Um, and four, they have amazing templates. And if you're paying for the pro plan anyway, some of the things that you were limited to by the free plan, you can now have access to all of their templates, all of their incredible fonts, all of their unbelievable graphics, and they're all open for you to use for your own business or social media content creation. All right, so let's jump right into this. If you are signed into Canva and you, again, are on the pro plan, you'll see a new option over here called Content Planner. What the Content Planner is, is basically a calendar snapshot of your entire month. And I'm gonna show you um, how simple it is to do a number of things here. So if you wanna schedule a new social media piece of content to go out, you simply hit this plus sign and you've got two options. You can choose a design, now, if you choose that, it'll pull up your library. So if you've already made something that you think is really handy and you want to schedule out, you um, can just look through your own library. And second to that, you can also create your own design. Now, here you'll see immediately it's mostly Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, which is a huge one, um, even uh, Instagram, which I love. Um, but you can actually do a little bit more than that, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm big on Twitter. I um, tweet all the time. If you're not following me, follow me. Let's just have a little tweet conversation. You can find me at Aaron Booth VA. Um, but anyway, when you are making your own graphic, like I said, you have access to all of their pre-made templates. Now for ease and convenience, I'm just gonna pick uh, this one that they've pre-made. I'm gonna pretend that this is exactly what I wanna use. It looks all good. Let me move myself so you can see what I'm doing. All you're gonna do is go to this handy little schedule. And oh, let me say this. You can still, like like with always, you can still download um, the graphic and then do whatever you need to do with that. But you can actually schedule right from Canva. So you click this schedule tool and we can do a couple things. We can change the date and time. We uh, Time, by the way, is your current time zone. Whatever time your computer that you're working on is set from, that's the time that it's using. Um, so we can change the date and the time, and from here we can also schedule where we want it to go. Um, now, if you just 10 seconds ago, I said it was a little more extensive, and that's because when you're ready to schedule certain things, it also pulls up LinkedIn, LinkedIn page, LinkedIn profile. I'm also really, really big on LinkedIn, so this was a huge one for me, at least knowing that I could post right to my LinkedIn from Canva too. Now let's go ahead and post this graphic to Twitter. Um, Canva's great, it walks you through all the steps. You'll see this connect to Twitter, any social media profile you wanna connect to, you just have to go through the credentials. Um, so basically, once you connect, uh, once you click this button, it'll pop up in a new window, Your um, this window saying like, do you authorize this app to post on your behalf? Now I do wanna um, let you know, if you are a social media manager and you manage many different accounts, whatever account you're currently signed in on. So for example, I manage um, three different brands on Twitter. If I were on one of those other brands right now, like logged in on Twitter under one of those different brands, that brand would pop up here. So you have to make sure whatever you're authorizing, it's whatever you're already logged into, if that makes sense. So this is the one that I want. So I'm just gonna hit authorize app, bing, bang, boom. It's gonna take me right back to the Canva website 
we wait for this bad boy. There we go. Um, and something else I love so much is that you can actually add a caption right here. Canva testing. Uh, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and schedule it. So again, the nice thing about this is that, um, be oh, let's go to the content planner. I can show you what that looks like. So the, the reason that I've actually migrated away from tools like Hootsuite and Buffer, of which I've used both before, is because this one, it's the only tool that I found that, first of all, it's the most cost-effective. Um, those other social media tools are very, very expensive nowadays. And if you're um, paying for the base plans, you often only get like 10 tweets or I don't know, like 30 tweets a month, but it's limited. Um, and this one is great too, because it's so visual that you can plan out your entire calendar for months and months and months. Um, it's something else that I think I'm a visual person. I like seeing the dates in front of me because it helps me plan out for our holidays or certain things I know I want to prepare for as the month comes. Um, so I hope this tutorial was easy, fast, and helpful for you. Again, Canva is one of my favorite tools. And uh, I usually, if you've watched this channel enough, know that I don't advocate for buying tools unless they're really, really handy. They're really worth their value and that they're going to bring value to your business. And I think the Canva paid account checks all those boxes really nicely. So this is one of the few tools that I think if you're going to make an investment, oh my God, do you guys hear that? I don't know if you heard that, but it's like jets galore up in here. Anyway, I think this tool is great. And uh, thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you guys have any questions about Canva, do you use it for your own content planners? Do you love it? Or have you used it enough that you just think like it doesn't quite do what you need it to do? Tell me in the comments. I'm always looking for new tools to explore. And thank you so much for watching this week's video.